Hi, and welcome to the third in a series of BMC My IT Service Broker videos. In the first two videos, we were introduced to Service Broker and shown how we can create and submit a service. In the second video, we went a little further with modifying, editing, and enhancing services so that, could, so that they could adhere to processes and provide greater value to organizations. In this video, we're going to take a look at the end result of the creation, submission, and publishing process that makes a service available for request by an end user. But first, we're going to take a look at one more capability in Service Broker that gives us the ability to provide entitlements based on users and services. Previously, we discussed the different roles with Service Broker, Supplier and Catalog Administrator, which we acted as in the first two videos. The third is the concept of an Asset Manager. An Asset Manager has the authority to bundle or package services and assign users who will be allowed to request those services. By creating virtual marketplaces, an Asset Manager can control who accesses which services. Users can be assigned to a bundle of services based on the individual user, a user group, or even a distribution list of users, which can be sourced from Remedy, Active Directory, or other identity management solution. Here you can see the users that have been added to this particular package. We could add additional users if we like, or if we had distribution lists or groups that were identified in this user directory, we could add those as well. Once users are defined, services can be associated to that specific set of users. The Asset Manager has access to all services that have been published by the Catalog Administrator, and simply adding them to a virtual marketplace entitles those users to those services. You can see here we have the Box Enterprise and the Request Corporate Credit Card service added to this user bundle. Before we take a look from the end user's perspective, I have one more thing I want to show. As services are published, they are added to the catalog in Service Broker. So an asset manager can easily add an available service to an existing virtual marketplace without having to open any specific bundle and scroll through a list of services. Now, my IT is the default interface of choice for the end user that Service Broker is designed to work with. Let's take a look at how the service we've been working with gets presented to an end user and how easy it is to make this service request. Joe is one of the users we entitled for the user bundle package we created. If we log in as Joe, we can see he is presented with a catalog of my IT services and activities. Here is the user bundle we created in Service Broker. And since Joe was a user we gave access to that bundle, he has access to request the services within that group. If we request the service, you can see that we're presented with a description of that service. This is the description that comes directly from the Service Broker catalog and the modifications and edits we made as a catalog administrator. If we request the service, we are then presented with the list of, of questions that we added to the service as a service broker catalog administrator. This helps the organization better provision the service and gather information for reporting and tracking purposes. Once provisioned, the end user can leverage the social capabilities in MyIT to rate, review, or even share those services. Help drive peer-assisted selection to drive adoption and bring greater value to IT's investment. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more information, our website is always available at www.bmc.com.